What's going on you guys? So I have another Dell Optiplex. This will be the last one. It's a 7070 small foam factor. Gonna be upgrades. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade the VD card and install a 2280 SSD in here, the Samsung. And I got a, also a heatsink from Amazon. They also, I ordered this online so you guys can use it also. So it comes with the, the screwdriver screws. And what I will do is before I install it, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the front cover basil. And this one is an Intel Core i7, uh, what is it, 90, it's a 9 gen, 9700. So what I will do is remove this bracket blue one. And you're gonna click the left to unlock it. I'm gonna disconnect. Use the cables from the optical drive. And what I will do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this SSD. This is the MVME, this is one terabyte. I'll go at least probably 500 gigs. And what I will do is I'm gonna remove this heat sink. So what you have to do is you have to install the thermal pads on both sides and peel them. And I'm gonna go ahead and install it like this. And you have to align, see each side, you're going to still install the screws three and bottom three and top. It comes with a little mini Phillips head. I'm just going to use my Stanley, just a little better. Where's my, okay, this one right here. And also, I have to buy the... The 2280, the, see the screw to, to, to screw it back on here, right there. That doesn't come with a screw on it. The screw that comes with it is too small. See right, right, right here, this is going to be way too small to install it. So you have to buy the wider one they sell on Amazon. I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going to go and install this. This side, oh. okay. So I'm gonna do left and right first, then in the middle I'll do the last. So what I'll do is, I'm gonna get this one, let me get a screw here. Before we install it. See, this is like a little wider one that you need. They also sell on Amazon. You guys can see, so I'm just gonna move the camera a little bit. 
just like that. So you're going to install right in the middle of the screw. And it's installed. Perfect. And I'm going to go and install the video card. So guys, I got different types of video cards. I'm going to show you guys. So I got this uh, MSI GT1030. Uh, with the GDDR5, they also sell on Amazon with the GDDR4. That's a slow video card, and it's the same price. So I want to go with the GDDR5 only. This is a low profile. So it comes with uh, both with a full height bracket and a low profile bracket. So when I'm going to put this back, I'm going to show you guys the other video cards quickly before I install this one. So I got this other one. This is an NVIDIA NVS 510, but the reason why I need it is you can be running like four monitors, then this video card will be work fine. Some other one I'll show you guys. So I got this other one, uh, NVIDIA Quadro. This is the K1200. Also supports four monitors. These are all mini display ports, but you can get adapter, uh, mini display port display port or mini display port DVI or to HDMI, you can get them. And the last one, the this is like a low-end model. This is the MD Radeon 8570. I, I don't think they sell them on Amazon, but you could probably get them used. They sell them, but this is the only has a display port and a DVI port. And this will also work. So I'm going to go ahead and move this plastic. You can install it right here through here the, the, the blue slot PCI Express times 16. I'm going to be using only HDMI, so this one's for the display port. You can just leave, if you're not going to be using, just put this brain from dust coming inside. So I'm just going to leave it. So the video card is installed. So what I will do is I'm gonna go ahead and install this bracket, the metal one. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect back the cable SATA and power for the optical drive. Not the blue one, I'm gonna connect the orange one. This is for the hard drive, actually. So the zero is gonna be for the, this will be the hard drive for extra storage, but the orange is gonna be optical drive. And you're gonna lock it left, and this cables go, oh. so what I will do is I'm gonna go like this around the cables. Clip this back in. And I'll probably install a bracket here back to 3.5 inch. This is a hard drive. Connect the seed and power. Just like that. Go install back the front cover basil. So you have to lift this up, compute a little bit inside. And guys, 
I'll make a separate video installing the windows, Windows 10. And you're done. So guys, be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.